but linking my moment. You should try to understand by your direct knowledge. Without understanding, you are host on the map. Maybe this host on the map, maybe donation, or maybe observing sila, or maybe practicing samatha, or maybe practicing vipassana. Sometimes vipassana host on the map also produce new existence. Sometimes samatha before jhana state, samatha host on the map also produce new existence. Sometimes dana hmm, donation who sent must also produce new existence. Sometimes observing sila hmm, sila who sent must also produce new existence. So again among donation dana, there may be different types of donations. Sometimes person meditators offering palawa to the Buddha image. This such type of who sent must produce. High aggregates in the end of their but linking my moment. Person meditators offering food to the bhikkhus. Such type of holes on the mass produce high aggregates in the end of their but linking my moment. So you should try to understand these five causes hmm? by your direct knowledge. Without understanding these five causes by your direct knowledge, we cannot say you are natural, Samuriya Sija, the noble truth of the origin of suffering. Without understanding the noble truth of the origin of suffering, if you practice vipassana, your vipassana is only just superficial, not real vipassana. So these two types of noble truths, the noble truth of suffering and the noble truth of the origin of suffering are the object of vipassana. If you can contemplate these noble truths as nature or dogma or ananda, when you are inside, become mature. One day you may realize nibbana by your path in Prussian knowledges. Nibbana is called the noble truth of the cessation of suffering, Niroda Sija. The poor, uh, noble apple path which is associated with the path knowledge are called the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. So to understand four noble truths as they really are, how you should practice. There is one sutta, Samadhi Sutta in Sitya Sanyuta. Samadhin bhikkhu bhaveta, samahito bhikkhu bhikkhu yadha buddhampa janadi, kincha yadha buddhampa janadi, idandukhandi yadha buddhampa janadi, yandukha smuryodi yadha buddhampa janadi, yandukha nirododi yadha buddhampa janadi, yandukha niroda gamini bhidibhidadi yadha buddhampa janadi. In this way, Buddha explained. What is the meaning? Bhikkhus develop concentration. A bhikkhu who is concentrated understands the dhammas as they really are. What dhammas? He will understand and penetrate as it really is. This is the noble truth of the Sapare Dukha Sija. This is the noble truth of the origin of Sapare Samuriya Sija. This is the noble truth of the cessation of Sapare Niroda Sija. This is the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering, Mekha Sitya. So, to understand by your direct knowledge, four noble truths as they really are, how you should break this path, develop concentration, <laughs> samatha meditation. Hmm? Do you believe or do you have enough confidence in the Buddha? This is Buddha's teaching. If you have enough confidence, then you should obey Buddha's instruction. Is it true? <laughs> you may have practiced vipassana without developing concentration or without practicing samatha. Please ask to yourself, do you see here kalabas? <laughs> huh? If you do not see kalabas, 
If you cannot analyze these kalabas, then you should obey Buddha's instruction. Is this okay? The, I want to explain samatha meditation. There are 40 samatha meditation subjects you can do anywhere, but tonight only I will explain anapana. If you want to practice four elements meditation, then please discuss with interview teacher. Hmm? Hmm. When doing interview. Hmm? Anambana mindfulness of breathing. Hmm? You can pay attention to the nursery or upper lip. According to Gumenke's explanation, Indians are long nose. So they pay attention on the nursery because the breath touching point is clear here. But usually many Asians, <laughs> huh? Southeast Asians, they have short nose. <laughs> So because of this reason, upper lip is better. <laughs> then the breath touch on this area, it is better. Maybe for some meditators, one point, no problem. For some meditators, this point, no problem. They may be changing. Within, within one sitting also, they may change. Or with one sitting and another sitting also may be different. No problem. Around this area, you must pay attention to what? The breath only. Hmm? Your object is breath, not touching point. But breath is going in, going out. So because of this reason, you should not follow inside and outside. Just watch on the touching point only. You should not pay attention to the touching sensation. You must pay attention only breath. But in breath is better for beginners. In Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In this way, you should pay attention on the breath object. If you can concentrate well, it is okay. If you cannot concentrate, commentary suggests to try counting breath. If you can concentrate on the breath object, it is not necessary to try counting breath. But if you cannot concentrate well, and there are many wandering minds. Commentary suggests to try counting breath. Breathing in, breathing out one. Breathing in, breathing out two. Breathing in, breathing out three. Up to eight. Again, one to eight. Again, one to eight. And this way you must try to count. But between 5 and 10, you can stop anywhere, but you should fix one number, it is better. Not less than 5, not more than 10. It is necessary because if you pay addition more than 10, your mind will not be pay addition to the breath object. You may be able to pay addition to the number. So this is one problem. If you pay addition less than 5, then very quickly going on, going back, going on, going back, then you will become tired. So because of this reason, between 5 and 10, you can stop anywhere, any number. But usually our teachers teach to remember noble eightfold path huh? from 1 to 8. So you can count 1 to 8. Huh? When you are counting, you should try to concentrate on the breath object only, not any other object. If you have any pain in your body, then you should not pay attention to this body, bodily sensation. You should concentrate only on the breath object. If you cannot concentrate well, if because of this pain, full feeling, then you can change your bodily posture. But frequent changing is also not good. So because of this reason, if you can neglect any feeling, and if you can concentrate on the breath object, slowly your concentration will begin. Hmm? While walking also in the same way, you must concentrate on the breath object only. While sitting, while walking, while standing, while lying down, in every bodily posture, you must pay attention to the breath object only, only one object. Today let us stop here and then 
you can ask any many que- any questions mm. no question if there is no question today let us stop idame bonya asawakya waha hodu idame bonya nibana sa pichiyo hodu idame bonya sabha sadana bajima te sabhi me sama punya bhaga labandu sadu 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 today we will continue about anabana meditation abdu jana concentration stage we should try first to concentrate on the breath when it is low you should try to understand this is i'm breathing low breath i'm breathing in low when you breathe short you should try to understand you breathe in short when you breathe up low you should try to understand i breathe up low when you breathe up short you should try to understand i breathe up short when you are guarding your breath whether it is long or short no problem you should try to concentrate on the long breath or short breath if you go can concentrate well it is not necessary to try counting breath but if you can not concentrate well then you must try counting breath there are two types of counting in our last time dog we discussed about natural counting breathing in breathing out one breathing in breathing out two up to eight Today I want to discuss another way of counting. While counting breath, you should not pay attention to the number. You must, you should also not pay attention to the touching point. You should pay attention only the breath on the touching point. If you can concentrate, it is good. But if you cannot concentrate, there is another way of counting. Green Masharas counting. Breathe in, wah 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 wah. Breathe out, wah 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 wah. Breathe in, do 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 do. Breathe out, do 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 do. In this way, you should try counting breath up to eight. When counting, you should try to understand the breath. When it is low, you should try to understand the low breath. When it is short, you should try to understand the short breath. If you breathe in a long stretch of time, such type of breath is called long. If you breathe out a long stretch of time, such type of breath is called long. If you breathe in a short stretch of time, then such breath is called short. If you breathe out in short stretch of time, such type of breath is called short. Long in short means the duration of time. If you breathe slowly, such type of breath is called, slow breath is called long breath. If you breathe quickly, that quick breath is also called short breath. But you should not try intentionally to make the breath long or short. 
Please allow your breath in the natural way. When you practice in this way, Ananda Sati, if you can concentrate more than half hour or about one hour every sitting successfully for three days, then you can stop counting. When you are stop, when you stop counting, then you should try to concentrate on the breath. When it is low, you should try to understand long breath. When it is short, you should try to understand short breath. Number one is long breath. Number two is short breath. And number three. Sabha gaya bhadi samvedi asa se samvedi se kadi. Sabha gaya bhadi samvedi basa se samvedi se kadi. When you breathe, when you breathe in, you should try to experience the whole breath body. When you breathe out, you should try to understand or to experience the whole breath body. The whole breath body means from the beginning to the end. Where begins, where it ends. On the touching point only. If you fix your touching point on the upper lip, you should wait and see from the beginning to the end. When you are breathing in, you should try to understand the whole breath body from that point only. When you breathe up, you should try to understand the whole breath body from that touching point only. In the same way, if you focus on your nose tree, you should try to understand the whole breath body from that nose tree point. You should not move on your attention inside the nose tree or outside upper lip. Around upper lip area only, you should fix your touching point and you should try to understand the whole breath body. But when you want concentration develops further, you may do not experience touching point. But you may feel only just breath. It is enough, no problem. Touching point is we fix touching point not to follow inside and outside the from the touching point. If you understand only just breath, it is better, no problem. It is not necessary to note. This is now, this is short, this is the beginning, this is the middle end, and this is the end. If you want to know, then you should know simply. Breathe in, breathe out only. If, in other words, if you understand the whole breath body, Continuously, it is enough. If you understand the whole breath body continuously, whether it is long or short, no problem. So in this case, you should combine three together. Long breath, short breath, and the whole breath body. When it is long, you should try to understand the whole breath body. When it is short, you should try to understand the whole breath body. If you practice in this way, when your concentration develops further, your breath will become very gentle, very quiet, and very subtle. When the breath becomes subtle, it is very good. Very good means very soon, Nimeda will appear. When Nimeda appears, you must concentrate on the Nimeda. While you are concentrating on the Nimeda, your breath, if your breath becomes gross, then sometimes you may pay attention to the Nimeda. Sometimes you may pay attention to your breath. There will be two objects. 
If you concentrate on two objects, then slowly your concentration will diminish away. So because of this reason, if your breath becomes subtle, and then there is a strong, powerful effort, mindfulness, and clear comprehension are necessary. If you emphasize with clear comprehension and mindfulness, then you may feel very, very subtle breath. If you can concentrate on that subtle breath, then slowly your concentration will develop further. If you can concentrate on that subtle breath body, on that subtle, the whole breath body, then it will be very good. This is the begin, beginning stage of person Bhaya, fourth stage. Fourth stage means Sabha Gaya Bhadi Samvedi, Pasan Bhaya Gaya Sankara Acha Se Samvedi Sekhadi, Pasan Bhaya Gaya Sankara Acha Se Samvedi Sekhadi. When this is the meaning, you should try your breath formations to be Subtela and subtela, finer and finer. Slowly, when your concentration develops up to fourth jhana stage, then that breath formation will completely stop. Up to that stage, you must practice. Fourth jhana is the end of samatha, anabana samatha meditation practice. When the breath becomes very, very subtle, and then, then you should not try to make the breath more and more clear. Cross breath is dangerous for your concentration. <coughs> In this case, you should also combine three together, long breath, the whole breath body, and subtle breath or short breath, the whole breath body, and subtle breath. When it is low, you should try to understand the whole subtle breath body. When it is short, you should try to understand the whole short subtle breath body. In this case, continuous practice will be necessary. You must practice to know the breath, the whole breath body, while walking, while standing, while sitting, while lying down. In every bodily posture, you must concentrate on your breath object. If you practice continuously in this way, very soon your concentration will develop color. If you can concentrate on the whole long or short, subtle breath body more than one hour or two hours or three hours. Then very soon new meter or a light of posture may appear. What is new meter? What is the light of posture? Every consciousness is self but lingering consciousness and death consciousness, which arise depending on heart base, produce mind, produce materiality, kedidya, robot, kalapas. One mind moment can produce uncountable, mind produce kalapas, small particles. If you analyze each small body girl, in each small body girl, there are eight types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive essence. Among these eight types, color is bright to be there on your concentration. You have 
not will power. It embraces according to Buddha's teaching. This will power can produce bright light. Your mind has no light, it is true, but can produce light. Such type of light is called the light of wisdom or the light of uh, Nimedia. Every concentrated mind is associated with wisdom faculty. When this wisdom faculty becomes powerful one, that wisdom faculty can produce, mind produce clubbers. Uncountable mind produce clubbers. The color of these clubbers is bright. Depending on the power of wisdom faculty. Because of this reason, this light is called the light of wisdom. What does the browsing may cause for powerful wisdom faculty? <coughs> the browsing may cause of wisdom faculty is concentration. Concentration is the proximate cause to increase the power of wisdom faculty. When wisdom faculty becomes powerful, one, it produces strong, powerful light. Such type of light is called the light of wisdom. Also, meditators, the light of wisdom appears first. But, also, other meditators, Nimitta appears first. What is the difference between the light of wisdom and Nimitta? The light of wisdom is everywhere surrounded in your body, surrounded uh, in every direction of, in every direction surrounding your body. But Nimitta appear only on the nursery or from the breath only. The higher of the power of wisdom, the brighter the light is. So it depends on the power of wisdom, the light of wisdom, begin powerful. Powerful means it spread very far away from your body. The light of wisdom is in every direction surrounding your body. But Nimitta appears only from the nursery, especially when you are breathing in, breathing out. The breath coming out from the your nursery, it becomes Nimitta. For beginners, Nimitta is your meditation object. The light of wisdom everywhere in every direction surrounding your body is not your meditation object. Your meditation object is only Nimitta or natural breath. So when the light of wisdom appears, you should now pay attention to the light of wisdom. When your concentration develops further, the light of wisdom will be everywhere, in every direction surrounding your body. But for beginners, they may see maybe this side, or that side, or that side, or that side. In this way, they may see the light of wisdom partially only. This is for beginners only. But when your concentration develops further and becomes deeper and deeper, then the light of wisdom also will become stable. At the time, the light of wisdom is everywhere in every direction surrounding your body. The light of wisdom is not your meditation object. When the light appears, if you focus on that light, very soon that light will disappear. Why? The light appears because, because of concentration on the 
breath object. If you change your object from the breath object to the light, then very soon light will disappear because concentration not yet stable. From one object to another object, if you change your concentration, slowly decrease. When your concentration decreases, then the light also will disappear. Because of this reason, when the light appears, you should not focus on the light. At the time, you must focus on the natural breath. When you focus on the natural breath, slowly breath coming up from the nostril will become nimitta. What is nimitta? Nimitta, the meaning of nimitta is the cause of concentration. Because of Nima, if you can concentrate on the Nimeda, your concentration develops further. Because of this reason, the Nimeda is the cause of concentration. But because of concentration also Nimeda appear. So they are both, they are vice versa to each other. Concentration and Nimeda. Srini Nasaha Atinga Samana Gada Ubozata Sila Amaya Jami Noganga Dua Sila Deta Me Bande Dudi Yambi Hambande Srini Nasaha Antenga Samana Gada Ubozata Sila Tamaya Jami Nogan Gadua Sila Deta Me Bande Tadi Yambi Hambande Pisrani Nasaha Adhenga Samana Gada Ubozata Sila Dhammaya Jami Nogan Gadua Sila Deta Me Bande Yamhang Vadami Dhamma Deta Namo Dasa Bhagavado Rahado Sama Sambhuk Dasa Samadhi Ami 
Suramiriya Mijja Pamada Thana Uramani Sikhabadang Samadiyami Vigala Bhajana Uramani Sikhabadang Samadiyami Nijja Gita Vadita Visuga Dasana Malaganda Vilebana Dharana Mandana Vivusana Dhana Uramani Sekhavadam Samadhi Yami Aukjasayana Mahasayana Uramani Sekhavadam Samadhi Yami Idhami Bhunya Asavakaya Vaha Hodu Idhami Sila Nibhanasa Pachaya Hodu Tisarani Nasa Ajanga Samanagada Ubhasara Sila Saruga Gadwa Dhamma Abhamadina Sambadita Today we would like to continue our Dhamma talk about Anambana meditation. In our last Dhamma talk, we discussed about Anambana meditation. To try counting breath. Today we will continue about Anambana meditation up to jhana concentration stage. You should try first to concentrate on the breath. When it is slow, you should try to understand this is I'm breathing long breath. I'm breathing in long. When you breathe short, you should try to understand you breathe in short. When you breathe up low, you should try to understand I breathe up low. When you breathe up short, you should try to understand I breathe up short. When you are guarding your breath, whether it is low or short, no problem, you should try to concentrate on the long breath or short breath. If you go, can concentrate well, it is not necessary to try counting breath. But if you do not concentrate well, then you must try counting breath. There are two types of counting. Hmm? In our last month, we discussed about natural counting. Breathe in, breathe out, one. Breathe in, breathe out, two. Up to eight. Today I want to discuss another way of counting. One counting breath, you should not be addition to the number. You must, you should also not be addition to the touching point. You should be addition only the breath on the touching point. If you can concentrate, it is good. But if you cannot concentrate, there is another way of counting. Green measures counting. Breathing in, one, 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 one. Breathing out, one, 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 one. Breathing in, two, 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 two. Breathing out, two, 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 two. In this way, you should try counting breath up to eight. One counting. You should try to understand the breath. When it is low, you should try to understand the long breath. When it is short, you should try to understand the short breath. If you breathe in a long stretch of time, such type of breath is called long. If you breathe out a long stretch of time, such type of breath is called long. 
if you breathe in a short stretch of time, then such breath is called short. If you breathe out a short stretch of time, such type of breath is called short. Now in short means the duration of time. If you breathe slowly, such type of breath is called slow breath is called long breath. If you breathe quickly, that quick breath is also called short breath. But you should not try intentionally to make the breath long or short. Please allow your breath in a natural way. We this in this way. Anandana If you can concentrate more than half hour or about one hour every sitting successfully for three days, then you can stop counting. When you are stop when you stop counting, then you should try to concentrate on the breath. When it is low, you should try to understand long breath. When it is short, you should try to understand short breath. Number one is long breath. Number two is short breath. Number three. Sabagaya Bri Samedi Asa Si Samedi Sekadi Sabagaya Bri Samedi Basa Si Samedi Sekadi When you breathe when you breathe in, you should try to experience the whole breath body. When you breathe out, you should try to understand or to experience the whole breath body. The whole breath body means from the beginning to the end. Where begins, where it ends. On the touching breath only. If you fix your touching by the upper lip, you should wait and see from the beginning to the end. When you are breathing in, you should try to understand the whole breath body from that point only. When you breathe out, you should try to understand the whole breath body from that touching point only. In the same way, if you focus on your nose straight, you should try to understand the whole breath body from that nursery point. You should not move or you are addition inside the nursery or outside upper lip. Around upper lip area only you should fix your touching point and you should try to understand the whole breath body. But when you are concentration develops further, you may do not experience touching point, but you may feel only just breath. It is enough, no problem. Touching point is we fix touching point not to follow inside and outside the from the touching point. If you are not that only just breath, it is better, no problem. Hmm. It is not necessary to note. This is long, this is short, this is the beginning, this is the middle end, and this is the end. If you want to note, then you should note symbolic. Breathe in, breathe out only. If, in other words, if you understand the whole breath body, Continuously, it is enough. If you understand the whole breath body continuously, whether it is low or short, no problem. So in this case, you should combine three together. Long breath, short breath, and the whole breath body. When it is low, you should try to understand the whole breath body. When it is short, you should try to understand the whole breath body. 
If you practice in this way, when your concentration develops further, your breath will become very gentle, very fine, and very subtle. When the breath becomes subtle, it is very good. Very good means very so nimitta will appear. When nimitta appears, you must concentrate on the nimitta. When you are concentrating on the nimitta, your breath, if your breath becomes gross, then sometimes you may be addition to the nimitta. Sometimes you may be addition to your breath. There will be two objects. If you concentrate on two objects, then slowly your concentration will diminish away. So because of this reason, if your breath becomes subtle, at the time, strong, powerful effort, mindfulness, and clear comprehension are necessary. If you emphasize with clear comprehension and mindfulness, then you may feel very, very subtle breath. If you can concentrate on that subtle breath, then slowly your concentration will develop further. If you can concentrate on that subtle breath body, on that subtle, the whole breath body, then it will be very good. This is the begin beginning stage of Pasambhya, fourth stage. Fourth stage means Sabha Gaya Bri Samvedi, Pasambhya Gaya Sankara Asa Sesamvedi Sekhadi, Pasambhya Gaya Sankara Asa Sesamvedi Sekhadi. What is the meaning? You should try your breath formations to be Subtela and subtela, fina and fina. Slowly, when your concentration develops up to fourth jhana stage, then that breath formation will completely stop. Up to that stage, you must practice. Fourth jhana is the end of samatha, anabana samatha meditation practice. When the breath becomes very, very subtle, and then, then you should not try to make the breath more and more clear. Cross breath is dangerous for your concentration. <coughs> In this case, you should also combine three together. Long breath, the whole breath body, and subtle breath. Or short breath, the whole breath body, and subtle breath. When it is low, you should try to understand the whole subtle breath body. When it is short, you should try to understand the whole short subtle breath body. In this case, continuous practice will be necessary. You must practice to know the breath the whole breath body while walking, while standing, while sitting, while lying down. In every bodily posture you must concentrate on your breath object. If you practice continuously in this way, very soon your concentration will develop further. If you can concentrate on the whole long or short subtle breath body more than one hour or two hour or three hour. Then very soon nimitta or the light of Vajra may appear. What is nimitta? What is the light of Vajra? Every consciousness except but lingering consciousness and death consciousness, which rise dependent on heart base, produce mind, produce materiality, chedeja, roba, kalapas. 
One main moment can produce uncountable main produce clubs, small body gas. If you analyze each small body gas, in each small body gas, there are eight types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wet element, color, odor, flavor, and nutritive essence. Among these eight types, color is bright depending on your concentration. You have enough willpower. If you bright this according to Buddha's teaching, this world power can produce bright light. Your mind has no light, it is true, but can produce light. Such type of light is called the light of wisdom or the light of uh, Nimida. Every concentrated mind is associated with wisdom faculty. When this wisdom faculty becomes powerful one, that wisdom faculty can produce, mind produce clubs, uncountable mind produce clubs. The color of these clubs is bright, depending on the power of wisdom faculty. Because of this reason, this light is called the light of wisdom. What does the browser make cause for powerful wisdom faculty? <coughs> the browser may cause of wisdom faculty is concentration. Concentration is the proximity cause to increase the power of wisdom faculty. When wisdom faculty becomes powerful, one, it produces strong powerful lights. Such type of light is called the light of wisdom. For so many days, the light of wisdom appears first. But for some other meditators, Nimida appears first. What is the difference between the light of wisdom and Nimida? The light of wisdom is everywhere surrounded in your body, surrounding uh, in every direction of in every direction surrounding your body. But Nimida appear only on the north street or from the breath only. The higher of the power of wisdom, the brighter the light is. So it depends on the power of wisdom, the light of wisdom being powerful. Powerful means it spread very far away from your body. The light of wisdom is in every direction surrounding your body. But Nimrita appears only from the nursery, especially when you are breathing in, breathing out. The breath coming out from the your nursery, it becomes Nimrita. For beginners, Nimrita is your meditation object. The light of wisdom everywhere in every direction surrounding your body is not your meditation object. Your meditation object is only Nimita or natural breath. So when the light of wisdom appears, you should not pay attention to the light of wisdom. When your concentration develops further, the light of wisdom will be everywhere, in every direction surrounding your body. But for beginners, they may see 
maybe this side or that side or that side or that side. In this way, they may see the light of wisdom partially only. This is for beginners only. But when you are concentration develops further and become deeper and deeper, then the light of wisdom also will become stable. At that time, the light of wisdom is everywhere in every direction surrounding your body. The light of wisdom is not your meditation object. When the light appears, if you focus on that light, very soon that light will disappear. Why? The light appears because, because of concentration on the breath object. If you change your object from the breath object to the light, then very soon light will disappear because concentration not yet stable. From one object to another object, if you change your concentration, slowly decrease. When your concentration decrease, then the light also will disappear. Because of this reason, when the light appears, you should not focus on the light. At the time, you must focus on the natural breath. When you focus on the natural breath, slowly breath coming up from the nostril will become nimitta. What is nimitta? Nimitta, the meaning of nimitta is the cause of concentration. Because of nimitta, if you can concentrate on the nimitta, your concentration develops further. Because of this reason, the nimitta is the cause of concentration. But because of concentration also nimitta appear. So they are both, they are vice versa to each other. Concentration and nimitta. Because of concentration, nimitta appears. Because of nimitta, concentration also develops further. Because of this reason, sometimes they translate nimitta as sign of concentration. But for beginners, nimitta is not stable. Why? Their concentration is not yet enough to, mind, to become mature. When their concentration deep, becomes deeper and deeper and becomes mature, at that time only nimitta will become stable. For beginners, usually nimitta is grey smoking color. When nimitta appears from the industry, at that time you should not switch on your attention to the nimitta very quickly. Why? If you focus on the nimitta very quickly, very soon nimitta will appear because concentration is not yet enough to maintain the nimitta. So because of this reason, when nimitta appears, you should focus on the natural breath only. You should wait and see the breath in nimitta becomes one. Breath is another, nimitta is another. Then you should not focus on the nimitta. When the breath and nimitta becomes together, or in other words, nimitta comes up from the nostrils. Our breath is begun nimitta. Then at the time you, nimitta and breath begun one. At the time you can concentrate on the nimitta. When you concentrate on the nimitta, there are some points you must take care. You should not focus on the color of nimitta. If you pay attention to the color of nimitta, when your perception change, color will be changing. Color also will be changed. So, if color is always changing, then slowly your concentration will decrease. Because of this reason, you should not pay attention to the color. Another one is, you should 